Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a special All Trades Accepted in that I'm not just picking a team in the NHL. I have assembled a roster of players who are under 80 overall. I almost made an exception. I almost made multiple exceptions, but I decided to stick to the rule, keep them under 80 overall, and we are going to be seeing how many trades we get and if we can build a competitive team from these trades by the end of the year. I can honestly see this going both ways in that we could get a lot of trades and we could get none and then just be stuck with our roster, but that'd be fun too so let's go ahead and randomize the team here see who we will be taking out we're going to be going on the trust system here but i am not looking at the screen and i will be stopping in three two one now we land on chicago all right substitute them and we are putting in a second montana team this time it is the mustangs i think i'm going to turn salary cap off because what might happen is our players will get a boosted contract because we're going to be way under the allowable cap and then we might have some problems trying to make moves so i'm going to turn it off and we'll see what happens i also wonder is that going to affect the expansion draft are they going to draft an absolutely ludicrous team now let's start the career and find out oh we have the expansion draft to go through too so they're going to be taking a good player from us auto generate the protection list and we have the always inaccurate you know it you love it the draft lottery results let's go ahead and sim past the expansion draft we lose jake sanderson that is a bad player to lose let's be a little bit nosy here and find out who gets drafted in the first four picks we have medium elite 80 overall to san jose medium elite 78 overall to the ducks a 79 overall to the buffalo savers and montana gets a 73 just out of curiosity what does seattle get oh okay yeah they're probably gonna have players in the ahl that are better than oh they're definitely gonna have players in the ahl that are better than some of the players on our roster so i might have to kind of sort through them and try to find out who they are find the imposter among us you know although i added a contract here i still feel like we might have some players here that we need to sign but maybe not okay we got edvinson he is an rfa so i will be giving him a contract right here on the spot same with you there's a lot of potential on this team we can put it that way goalies we have Wallstead, who is listed as an rfa so we will go ahead and give him a contract as well they all resigned of course let's him to the free agency now go ahead and update our trading block and find out what is gonna happen here we have it the trading block for your montana mustangs our surplus is very wide open so every player is available and we have a rather specific want, but it's not super specific, you know, it's still fairly generic considering. I don't want to leave it completely open because I feel like we're just going to get prospect for prospect trades and I'm not interested, I'm going to be honest. So let's sim to next season, find out if we get a bunch or if we get none. That's a hot way to start. VC and Hamilton, we will be accepting that from the New Jersey Devils. We have another one here, Spurgeon and Zuccarello for Mason McTavish. Accept that trade. All right, we're looking good. We are looking good. All right, I take that back. There has been a gap far too large for my liking, and I feel like that's going to be the end of trades for the offseason. Oh, boy. All right, we are in one here. I mean, hey, we got plus two and plus two. How is that possible? They both have X factors and abilities, and they don't get along. We have Mikey backed up by Wolf back here in the net, and our offense is that. Not much to really be said. Defense, at least we got the top pair is pretty solid other than the fact that they are a dash one. Well, 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 our trading block has been updated again. I wonder who did that. Wasn't me. Watch me make this trading block again and we just end up losing all the players we just got. Spurgeon, Zook, and Hamilton just ripped apart. Why are these two on the block? They see our team and they're like, yeah, let's put them on the block. Like we don't need them. Our trading block has once again been updated so that we are looking for players who have an age of at least 23 and that's it. The only reason I do that is because I feel like like at the age of 23 you're probably gonna have a decent overall to have at least a little bit of trade value so that's sort of my rationale behind that e our ahl defensemen do not like each other apparently okay at least i got it to all zeros but that's probably gonna change soon as soon as we get a trade request wallstedt and askarov the two goaltenders what a dynamic duo and on that note let the sim begin not the best start in the world but i envisioned a much worse one i'm not gonna lie if we can at least have a somewhat mediocre record going into the trade deadline then that would be splendid and i'm gonna try my best to make some big moves at the deadline but i don't see any trades coming in right now which is sort of frustrating okay three games in a row that we oh four actually four w's in a row i know i'm gonna jinx it but the lads are popping off right now 23 18 and four and on top of that we just beat the tampa bay lightning and the florida panthers i don't even know if we need to make moves at the trade deadline this roster seems to be getting it done we're second in the division at the moment this is fascinating to say the least 53 points from 
from Perfetti in 62 games. Kaliev is now up to an 80 overall. Jack is up to 81. Holtz is up to 81. We've seen a lot of player growth here, it seems like. Let me do best lines again and see what happens here. How much move do we get? How much movement? How many moves? Perfetti's on the fourth line. I mean, I don't know. To be fair, our ice time allocation is roll three lines. So I don't think we have to be super worried about this line down here. We've seen some defensive growth as well. What about our goalies? How's Mikey doing back there? He's 78, Wolf's still 75. There's definitely been some AHL growth. He's up to 77. I don't think Bodan was 77 either. And I think some of the other players have gone up. Rossi at 76. I don't remember what he was before. Wallstead and Askarov haven't budged. All right, well, let's enter the trade deadline and see if anything happens. Pavelski's available. Same with Sagan. We got Gallagher, Palat. And remember, there is no cap. So we don't have to worry about that. I'm just going to see. Can we find... Oh, we can. We can indeed. Bodin. And that's the only one. I have to accept it because I got us this far, so there we go. I wonder how many people I could find trades for. What about Dumba? Yep, found one for Vili. Is he in the AHL right now? Oh, we have five actually. Soderstrom, Kaliev, Holtz. Oh, Bol yeah, you're gone. You are so gone. You're in the AHL and I know that for sure. Brendan Gallagher? We are finding trades like no tomorrow. I just saw that Broberg got sent down at the AHL and now you're gone because we're getting Gallagher. Barlamov is the best goalie option we have right here and we can't find a trade for him. That's unfortunate. Boone Jenner, maybe. The only, I don't really want Sagan per se. What about Palat? Yep, we got one. It's Vili. Ooh. All right, yeah, you can go. We realistically should try to find a goalie though. Ranta's on the board. We could try to get Ranta. Nope, no trades found. What about Allen? Nothing, eh? Reimer? No? Cam Talbot? No? What about Anthony Stellars for crying out loud? Oh, you're kidding me. Come on, Cal. No way! Ah, Boone Jenner's still available. Let's try to get him. Yes, we can. Dustin Wolf is the backup in the NHL. We could just bring up one of the other guys, though, you know? I don't know if Robertson is in the NHL. I don't think Harley is. Actually, I can go to the edit trade here and see if he's in the AHL or not, I think. Isn't there a way to tell from here? Yeah, he's in the AHL. So, Thomas... You're gone, and we are obtaining Boone. Are you kidding me? Asset no longer on team? I took literally 10 seconds. What if we try to get Jonathan Drouin? No. Okay, that's actually kind of surprising. I thought we would have one. Anything for Varlamov yet? Still no. TJ Brody, maybe? Nope. Are we running out of options here? Nothing for Dadanov. Nothing for Ranta. Okay, so yeah, we might be done here then. Can try to get Giordano, I guess. Yeah, we got one. Reichel. Sure. Why not? I mean, I can't say no, actually, so... Oh, we just got offered a big trade for Jonathan Drouin. All right, let's go ahead and accept it before we lose it this time. Yep. We find a trade for Hoffman. No, we cannot. Yarn Crook. We did get one. Wolf, who is our backup goaltender, Robertson, or Harley. You're gone. All right, I'm just gonna sit now and wait for 8 a.m. to come along. I won't make any more moves. And by that, I mean I won't instigate any more moves. But if one just happens to come our way, can't really say no. We all know that by now. I can't believe we can't find a single trade for any of these goalies. Two more options here between Jones and Brassois, but it's barely even really an overall upgrade. I mean, it is a little bit, but nothing drastic. Last goalie I'm gonna try, not gonna work, but here we go anyway. No. It's actually pretty fun to zoom through here. It looks like one of those, you know, take a picture once every day for a year kind of thing. <laughs> I am out of here. What a change our roster has gone through. This is our offense now. We only have a plus one on the first line and that's it. Oh, I might do that then. Get the plus two because they're the same overall and we have playmaker two-way forward, two-way forward. Ooh, okay. We don't have our snipers anymore by the looks of it, but oh man, what the heck? Basically all our good defensemen shoot right which is very unfortunate but it is what it is so this is what we have settled on and in net we have Di Pietro at 78 overall okay time to have the inevitable post trade deadline obliteration all right 201 out of the oh 2012 we take really let's go unless something dramatic happens which it will we are looking playoff bound at the moment, we go on the worst losing streak of all time to end, and we still make it in. We were able to finish third in the Central Division with a grand total of 91 points and 42 Ws. The Golden Knights won the President's Trophy with 112 points, and we will scroll through here. The Islanders got shafted, and let's see where the other teams ended up. We got the 22nd place Vancouver Canucks making it into the playoffs with 46 points. Or sorry, no, 40 wins, 86 points. I just completely put those two numbers into a pot and drew at random 
and I got them both somehow. Hey, at least we were in the top 16. Zuccarello led the team for points with a grand total of 59. We got 58 from Andre Palat, 57 from Pavelski, and we got 51 from Kaliev. Ooh, had a boy. Di Pietro went 27, 27 and five. It was actually Dusty that was carrying the team here. A 922, 246, but I guess he did play less than half the amount of games that Di Pietro played. Robin Leonard led the league with 44 Ws. He had a 916 save percentage while doing it. We got a 920. 23 from Freddie and a 228 goals against average. That is very solid. Had been led defenseman with 65 points, five goals on the year and 60 helpers. He had a plus 14. Carlson is right there with 63. And then we got Shea Theodore with 58. And where the heck is Kale McCarr? Wait, really? He's all the way down here? The only player to break 90 points this year was Kucherov. I see Ovechkin with 54 goals though, so it looks like he might have won the Rocket Richard, although Kucherov did hit the big 5-0. ADB ended up putting up 88 points. We got 87 from Pointer, 85 from Kyle Connor, Ovi and Barkov both put up 84 apiece. And then we got a trio of 81s right here. It's playoff time. Let's see how Montana does in the Stanley Cup playoffs. We got the Jets here in round number one and so far we're looking pretty good oh yeah we make it past round one in six games now we got the Colorado Avalanche which is going to be a very tough contest we push it to seven and lose in overtime wow that sucks and Vancouver goes on to win the Stanley Cup 14 points in 13 games for Drew N he did very well in the playoffs let's see how our other players did we got 11 points from Zuccarello 10 from Palat Di Pietro played very solid getting a 919 and two 54. He's at 80 overall now, so that is quite significant growth from him. Holy crap, Thatcher. A 951 save percentage? That is absolutely unheard of. Kemper with a 922. Hughes led defenseman for points in the playoffs with 21. Carlson at 16, and then it drops off to 11, so these two were big time ahead. And Ovechkin gets 29 points in the playoffs, leading the entire league. Kuznetsov had 22, and then it drops down to 21 with JT Miller. 20 for Backstrom. So three of the top four is the Washington first line. At least I think. They might have played Kuznetsov second line center. So maybe I'm lying. Actually, what am I saying? They might have played Backstrom second line center. Well, no, I think it could be either of them. Let's have a look at the trophies here. Are the team trophies individually? We get the Art Ross headed to Nikita Kucherov's, I don't know what to call it, trophy stand, something like that. We get the Hart Memorial also going home with Nikita. Shea Theodore gets the Norris. Kuch with the Lady Bing. Mercer gets the Calder. Demko with the Con Smythe, Freddie gets the Vesna, and Sorokin gets the Jennings, Edmondson with the Bill Masterton, Hull gets the Jack Adams, Bergeron with the Selkie, Cooch with the Ted Lindsay, and Ovi with the Rocket Richard. Looking at the playoff tree, Vancouver did not struggle one bit. They went to six games once, other than that, two series went to five, and a sweep in the first round. So they were a pretty convincing Stanley Cup champion this time around. As always, thank you guys for the ideas. This one was very cool, and I'm extremely impressed with how the roster performed even before the trade deadline. I did not see that coming one bit. Definitely be sure to keep those comments and ideas coming, and I will be seeing you guys soon.